exercise session, we need a chair. So we just need a chair that's fairly sturdy. Mine's not very sturdy, but one that you can use for a little bit of balance. But we're not going to really lean on it. But a nice upright chair if you can. So we're just going to stand behind the chair to start with. Take our feet a little bit wider. And move back so that you've got room to move. And we're going to stick the bottom out, push the knees out, and push down into the floor to stand up. So don't do this too big, it's just a little squat back and push up. So from the side, try not to drop into your knees, try to stick that bottom back and push up. We'll do a few more of those. So step into the side, feet together. You can see I'm still holding on. You don't have to hold on. It's entirely up to you. And then take the feet wide. Look how wide my feet are. See where the chair legs are. Nice and wide. And this time I'm going to sit a little bit lower. So as you push your bottom back, push your knees out for me. And then push down into the floor to stand up. Bottom back, knees out, push. And push back up. you will feel your heart rate going up, get a little bit more of a workout, but you don't have to. You can slow these down, and have a rest in between each if you want to. If you want to do this a little bit more for balance, and you feel safe to do that, have your hands near the chair rather than on the chair. Squeeze that bottom at the top, sit back, knees out. Push down into the floor through the feet, squeeze that bottom. Make sure you're breathing. Try not to tense the shoulders, get the work in the bottom of the legs. So we're going to do a sideways movement of the leg. Now we're not trying to lift the leg up, so don't think up. Think of sweeping it out to the side, so you can feel it down the side of your leg. So if I stand behind the chair, <coughs> you can see I've got a little bit of balance here. I'm not turning my body in any way, so I'm sliding. Can you see it's not very high either? And then I'm bringing my legs back, so I'm balanced. So without the chair, the weight goes, the weight in both legs is going to go into one leg, and I'm going to take that leg away, and I'm going to feel it here. Obviously, it's nicer with the chair because you've got a bit of balance. So we're just going to do one side. Centre your weight, let's repeat that, stay on that side, do one side. Just so we can repeat that movement a few times, centre your weight. Feel it at the side of your bottom, top of the thigh, good. Nice and tall as you stand. Centre that weight, then again. So we've done five, now we're going to centre the weight, we're going to do the other side. Take it away back down, centre your weight. Remember, we're not going forward. Sweep it out to the side. Think about what happens through your body. 
body. If you're having to lean a lot, do a lower leg movement so you don't have to lean so much. Sweep it and center. Sweep it and center. Sweep and center. Let's repeat. Let's go to the other side. Sweep and center. Sweep and center. Let's do three more. Lovely. Two more. Center. Sweep. Center. Other side. Sweep. And center. Keep it low if you want to. Keep breathing. Two more. And come back. Lovely work. Well done. Okay, so we're going to bring it down. We're going to do a little bit more thigh work, but let's do a little bit around the lower leg now. So what we're going to try and do is lift the front of your foot. So let's start a little bit easier than that. I'm going to bend the knees, squeeze your bottom a little bit. See if you can lift your big toes. This one's a nice one to do with no shoes on if you can, because you get that nice toe movement. Lift those toes up and down. And lift. And down. And lift them up. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit harder now. I'm going to try and lift the whole front of both feet. Yeah, so you're lifting the ball of your foot. You're right on your heel. Be careful with this one. This is not the same thing. Yeah? So slightly bend your knees maybe. Squeeze your bottom. See if you can lift the front of your feet. That is a bit of a tricky one. Relax your shoulders, squeeze your bottom will help you, push it to your heels will help you. Can you feel that working in the front of your leg, this bit here? So lift and down, lift and down. Lift and down. Let's see if we can make it a bit harder, so you can carry on with that if you want to, or you could lift up. Bend your knees a little bit and see if we can lift one foot at a time. So this is like a little march. And down. So again, lift. See if we can do a little march. Don't put those toes down. Oh, that's a harder one, isn't it? And then have a little breather. Remember if you need a time out, you can sit down at any time, yeah? You don't have to keep it going continuously. Listen to how you feel. So we're going to work, as promised now, through the back of the thigh. So what we're going to do here is take one leg behind, yeah? So we're going to bend a little bit through the knees. Squeeze the bottom. Now you need to shift that weight onto your front leg. What can you see? There's a gap between my knees. What we're going to try and do is lift. See I'm bending that back leg. Can you see my knee isn't coming forward? What might happen is that. So you end up doing it here. You're going to work this muscle harder if you can keep your leg back a little bit. So that's what I want you to try and do. So relax your shoulders. You should have a little bit of balance. Squeeze your bottom. Weight in the front leg. Tap. One, two, three, four, five, and bring it in. Yeah, feel it there? That's what we're looking for. Other leg goes back. Okay, see them gap between the knees. Squeeze your bottom weight in your front leg. Tap. work now. So I'm going to use the length of my chair. It's not far. 
to do a little walk. So what we're going to try and do to start with, remember that bent knees and we try to lift the front of our feet. We're going to try and walk that along your chair. And then we're going to try and walk it backwards. So maybe do smaller steps. It's quite a hard one to do. This is why you need a fairly sturdy chair. If you're not happy with your chair, maybe try the kitchen's quite good. The um, level of cabinets is usually quite a nice height to do this and you might get a longer walk then. So we do a little walk, slow, controlled. You can rest at the end. And then small, control that. Control that, that's nice. So that's quite a hard one doing that one backwards, isn't it, yeah? You wanna be able to control the movement, it's very definite. If you feel that you're going forward, it's quite good, that's testing you anyway. You don't want to go backwards. Try and just walk backwards, toe, heel, remember? You put your toe down, you put your heel down. Toe, heel, toe, heel. And then you're back to where you started. So you can do a few of those and that tests you. Next one we're going to have a go at is a tightrope walk. So again we're doing some tricky ones here today. We're going to try and get, if you can, heel to toe. If that is too much of a test for you, have a gap. If it's still too much of a test, just come to the side so it becomes just a narrow walk rather than a strict tightrope. Tightrope, sorry. And again, you could do it backwards. It's a tricky one, the backwards ones are even harder, aren't they? Or you could just walk backwards. So tight rope. Now what I would suggest if you keep having your balance on one side is actually to try a few and balance it up. Remember when we turn, lift your feet. Lift, take your time, try a few with your balance on the other side, yeah, it does make a difference. So we try to do this one, and then we either went backwards, that's a tricky one, or we did toe, heel and just walked, and then we had a go tightrope. So you are testing yourself a little bit, okay? So we're going to now, excuse me, just take the chair around. So we're going to have a go again with our side steps. So remember, we're stepping in together. So we're going to go step together, step together, step together. Now if you want to make it harder, obviously you can't hold on to the chair. If you're a bit worried about this, you may be a better idea to do it with the wall behind you. So you could use a different type of of support, couldn't you? You could have that wall behind you rather than the chair in front. Or have both, just have it there to give you a guideline. Now I'll come back to why we're going to do a little squat down and we're going to try and reach up. You can stand up in between. Small squat. Reach up. Can you reach over? Lovely. Small squat. Over. Small squat. And over. So again, testing your balance a little bit and strengthening at the same time. Do enough that you feel that you have done some work. 